So I've alluded to the fact that there are StarCraft tournaments, and I haven't really talked about any of the nitty gritty details of how that works. So the biggest thing when you do watch competitive play, you're probably going to be watching a tournament. And the biggest piece of that that is different is that the games are not played in a best of one. That means that, uh, let's say you and I are opponents, that what that means is that we don't just play one game and then let's say I win, then we're done and I advance in the tournament and you don't, you're, you're out. Instead, we will generally play what is called a best of three or maybe a best of five or best of seven. This is a set of games where to win, for example, the best of three, I need to get two wins. Now that can be two wins and a loss, or it can just be two wins back to back and then I'll advance and you'll lose. Now, why would we do this? This, this already sounds complicated. Why, why are we making it hard, right? Well, because there are these elements of deception in the game, we don't want for me to, you know, kind of pull a fast one on you, right? And then all of a sudden you're out of the tournament. Like, oh, well, what if you're like actually way better and that trick wouldn't work on you twice, right? Well, don't you kind of want the opportunity to prove that? And there's also this sort of um, kind of feeling out the other player that happens. It's very much like what I talked about with regard to poker and sort of placing these bets, these investment bets to find what sort of behaviors the opponents are, are engaging in. So the longer a series is, the more likely it is that the better player will come out ahead. Now, Normally it is this sort of like best of type format, but there are other ones and they're really, really weird. And I'm sorry that they're weird. Um, the most common weird format you're gonna hit when you watch tournament play is called a group stage. And these are super wacky. Losing a given best of three or best of five doesn't necessarily eliminate a player. I found this very hard to understand when I was new to StarCraft. The trick to it, okay, there, there are two options for you. One. If your StarCraft fanatic fan that is in your life who's making you watch my videos is with you, just ask them and they might know. If they don't know, I want you to listen to the commentators. There are people who are usually like ex-pros who will talk about what's happening in the tournament. And usually the whole thing is kind of done just to build up the narrative and build up the hype, whether it's a large, you know, best of seven or whether it's one of these weird group stages. And they'll kind of be talking about you know, okay, this player needs to win this many games in order to not get eliminated from the tournament. And they'll kind of build it all up for you. And eventually it'll kind of just click, but don't get too overwhelmed. The main point here is that games are usually played in a series and there may be some other weird rules besides that. But if you see a given player lose a given game, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're out. This is just another thing, kind of like the concessions where when you first watch, it can be a little bit shocking and a little bit weird where it's like, well, wait, I, you know, I just saw this person lose. Uh, why are they in another game? Like, once you understand that it is a best of three or a best of five, it all kind of makes more sense. And, you know, maybe you like a certain player's play. You can really kind of root for them. Like, maybe they lose that first game. And you're wondering, okay, are they going to, you know, are they going to pull it out? Can they win two straight? That kind of thing. So it really does kind of make it fun and, and helps create a bit more of a story.